Hello everybody, today we're going to discuss about uh, multivariate regression analysis in our software. Pre previously, we tried to uh, discuss about uh, MANOVA, that means multivariate analysis of variance for single as well as for two factors. But today we're going to uh, see uh, how to perform multivariate regression analysis in our software. And this multivariate regression uh, analysis is different from a simple as well as uh, that of the multiple linear regression analysis. In the case of simple, uh, the combination is one to one. That means you have a dependent variable as well as you have independent variable. So the dependent or the response variable, let's say planted, uh, will take as uh, dependent variable as explained by the fertilizer rate. So in our case, fertilizer rates will be uh, will be the uh, the uh, independent one. Let's uh, see this one. For example, uh, here is the pH. Then again, y is indicated as the fertilizer. So if you want to create the simple regression, it's a simple uh, regression, simple regression. Just simply, you have to assign any, anything that you wish. Let's say here is k, then uh, use the function linear module. Then the first thing that comes in front of here is the response variable or the, the, the dependent variable. So in our case, it's plant is the dependent variable. And it's explained by the explanatory factor. So uh, in our example, the explanatory factor is the fertilizer rate. So put here is fertilizer then go for that. Or let's uh, uh, see one example from uh, our uh, data, how to create a simple regression. Um, so I already imported my data. Uh, here is the data names, total tiller, productive tiller, uh, number of kernels, 1,000 kernel weights. Here is the BY indicators as the um, Biomass yield, grain yield, straw yield, harvest index, planted in spike length. So, tech, for example, a grain yield is the, as a dependent variable, and uh, planted, uh, the pH here is as a explanatory factor. So, let's create the simple regression. Here is linear model, then you provide the first one, the first that comes in the parenthesis is the response variable. In our case, the response variable is GY. GY stands for grain yield. And as explained by uh, pH. pH means it is the plant head. So type this and submit to our studio. Then let's see the result. In order to get the result, you have to write, you have to use the function summary. Uh, summary, then uh, write K. Yes. As you can see here, the, our response variable is the grain yield, and the, our explanatory factor is the plant height. And you can get here is the intercept, which is negative 6.12, and here is the coefficient, which is equal to 0 0.1073. Uh, both are significant. This means that the intercept means when the explanatory factor is at 0, for example, uh, when when there is no fertilizer application, the grain yield is around 6.12 at 6 uh, kilograms per hectare or ton per hectare or quintal per hectare on the basis of your um, units. So that uh, intercept means when the explanatory uh, factor is zero, the value of y is here. That means 6.12. And when we interpret this uh, thing is that. Um, for every unit increase implanted by 0 0.1 centimeter, since the plant is measured in terms of centimeter, the grain yield, uh, we would expect grain yield uh, to be lower by 6.12 uh, kilogram or uh, ton or quintal per hectare. And over here also, 76.1% is the model is explained by the by the model, but the remaining around 23.983 is by other things. So this is the simple and linear regression. What makes simple? It is one. Here is 
the response variable is 1 and again also the explanatory factor is 1. And uh, when we come to the multiple linear regression analysis, let's uh, create uh, uh, the model. Let us sign it. Here is KK. Then let's spread this one. Use the function LM and uh, use the GUI as a response variable. Then as explained by Plantet plus uh, uh, let's uh, our name is TT again uh, plus productive tiller. So that this and submit to our studio. Let's see the summary. Uh, sorry, I have to put here the scale then yeah so coming to this as you see here again the intercept is negative 1.77 that means when the the uh, these uh, variables are tend to zero the y is equal to around negative 1.77 and as you see the planted uh, that means page stands for the planted tt stands for total tiller and as well as here is the PT for the productive tiller, they are not statistically significant. And you, we can get also the coefficient here for the planted uh, 0.02, for total tiller 0.03, and here is for the productive uh, tiller uh, negative 0.04. This means that for every unit increase for the productive tiller, uh, for the productive tiller, the granny that means our response variable here is the granny decrease where well, we, we will expect the granny uh, to be lower by uh, negative by sorry by 0 0.04 in similar fashion for every unit increases uh, by uh, in, for every unit increase for the total tiller we will expect the granny increase by 0 0.03 and then similarly for the planted by 0.029. So this is the uh, multiple linear regression. What makes multiple linear regression is that is a number of uh, predicted um, variables. And one thing is over here is uh, when we when we add more predictor, the R squared value will be increases. So the more um, the larger when we have high or large amount of uh, R-scale value, which indicates that our module is uh, best fitted for our data. For example, let's add uh, one, one more uh, variable and check whether it is increase or uh, decrease. So plus here SL. Yeah, as you can see, uh, as you compare this one and to the previous one, it is somehow increased. For example, the previous one is uh, uh, 0 0.8379. But if you compare to this one, it is 0 0.8383, which is uh, greater than to the previous uh, one. Even, uh, let's, um, let's add more. Uh, let's see our uh, variable names. Yeah, let's add this by. By put it here is by plus by. Then let's see. Yeah. So uh, around the R square value is around 0 0.95. This means that 95.78 percent of the module is explained by these terms. So this way, in this way, we can describe the uh, multilinear uh, regression. Then coming to our uh, today's tutorial, our today's uh, 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 topic, that means it's multivariate regression analysis. What makes multivariate regression, regression analysis from that of the multiple linear regression is that uh, here in the multivariate regression, the response variable, that means the dependent variable, here is our in the case dependent variable is granule. But in the multivariate regression, it should be more than one. Let's say granule uh, as well as the plantate, maybe it will be our response variable, and the rest will be the predictor or the explanatory variable. So the distinction between the multivariate regression analysis and the multiple linear regression analysis is on the basis of their independent and dependent variable. So in the case of multiple linear regression, 
there is one response variable or there is one dependent variable and we have will have what multiple uh, or a number of predictor or a number of explanatory or a number of independent variables but in our case in the multivariate regression analysis we we will have what more than one response variable we will have one more than response uh, variable so let's uh, create two response variables. The first one is the green yield, and here is the number of kernel uh, per spike, then as explained by productive tillers, total tiller, plantage, and spike length. So these are what our predictor or our explanatory variable. And our dependent variable is two, so that's why uh, we give the name it's multivariate regression analysis. So type this, you have to use uh, in order to combine the two response variable into, into one form, use the uh, uh, cbind function, then uh, run. But unfortunately, uh, uh, this will end you to give a multiple linear regression analysis instead of what multivariate regression analysis. So among all, the planted has a, a, a significant effect while the rest are non significant since the p value is greater than 0 0.05. But in the case of planted, it's less than 0 0.01, so it is significant. But it is, this is uh, not a multivariate regression because it will give you for pause. Here is the second one is the response variable for the number of uh, kernel per spike in this way, and again also for the green yield in this way. So this means, again, it is similar with what? With the multiple linear regression. So uh, this is an, altern an alternative way to combine or if you want to do the uh, uh, independent brain yield as well as the uh, other response variable that means number of uh, kernel uh, per thousand. It is a way of combination, but it doesn't give you the multivariate regression analysis. So in this way, you can, if you want to get the residual, so we expect two residual value, yeah? Because uh, of what we have, what two response variable, two response variable. Again, uh, if you want to get, you know, let, let's show you. Yeah, here is the green yield and there is the NKS. As all of you know that the residual is the difference between observed value and the predicted value. So if it is above the predictor uh, value, uh, that means it is overestimated. And if it is the, if that means if it is less than the predicted model, it is underestimated. Uh, underestimated. And if you want to get the predicted value, that means if you put a number and you can get the equation of y. So that if you want to get that one, you have to say if it is equal to one. So we expect what for two response variables but these two response variables st still it is not a multivariate it is still it is what uh, multiple linear regression i'll show i'll show you later on then if you want to get the coefficient yes in this way you will get the coefficient for all uh, uh, predictors as well as the response variables in this way and again uh, if you want to get the residual standard error Type sigma and submit to our studio. Then do in similar way for the variance to get the variance uh, covariance uh, matrix. Yes, here is the here. This is the variance covariance matrix. So uh, this is uh, uh, if you modeled separately the granule as well as the NKS. These are similar with what? With this one, yeah? With this one, yeah. This will yield the individual model for what? For grain yield and the N case explained by these predictors. To our today's issue or topic, our topic is a multivariate regression analysis. We already created the model. Our model is here. WAC, which is called as two or as uh, you can open, you can give assignment by this function, 
then linear model and we combine or we consider granule and the number of kernel per thousand that means uh, per spike is our response variable and explained by this explanatory variable or predictors so this is the our model our model here is is work which contains which uh, considers granule and any case as response variable and the remaining as predictor variable so when we type summary and put the model in this way it will give you for what for the multiple linear uh, regression analysis but if you want to if you want to get the multivariate regression you have to use ANOVA ANOVA is not that one the small uh, the small letter but ANOVA here is a capital letter which is built in the car package so you have to incorporate the car package into our into our software or our studio then ANOVA, write the model in the parentheses, type this, you'll get the multivariate regression analysis in our software. Or, alternatively, you can use the MANOVA and put the model that you create, that means our model is WAC. WAC means that contain or consider green and number of uh, kernel per spike, and as explained by the PT, TT, PH, and SL predictors. So, uh, if you type both, it will yield the same result yes in both cases in both cases uh, the planted is uh, a significant effect but the remaining are not statistically significant as you can see here since uh, uh, the p-value is greater than 0 0.05 in similar fashion for the MANOVA test it is similar to the ANOVA uh, function so it's both yield the same result. So planted has a significant effect on the grain yield as well as in the, the number of kernel per uh, spike. So this is uh, all about the our, uh, our uh, multivariate regression analysis in our software. As usual, don't forget to provide your valuable comments, suggestion and question in YouTube comment uh, box or alternatively you can use my email i will address them one by one until then uh, have a good time and see you soon